Hello, everyone, and a very, very warm welcome to today's webinar. Today, we have Dr. Samaria Ali with us. So, Dr. Samaria, can you hear me? Yes, yes, ma, I can hear you. Hello, how are you, ma'am? I'm good. How are you, Asma? I'm fine too. I guess all the students are waiting for you and your webinar, and they were also waiting for all the topics that you are going to discuss today. Yeah. All good. <clears throat> yeah. So let's not uh, let the students wait and we can start now. Okay, all good. So I'm going to share my screen. Yeah. Okay. So let's yes, ma'am. Okay, all good. Uh, hello, everyone. Can you hear me? So... I need this session to be really interactive because as more you are interactive, the session will be good. And I request you all, if possible, can you switch on your screen so that I can look that who are looking at me. You um, Meanwhile, if you have any query, you can write in a chat box so that we can interact in a better way. Please confirm me if... if Everyone can hear me or I'm talking to myself. Hello. Please write in a chat box if you can hear me. Okay, so I got few responses of Oday, Kassalain, Imad and Oday again. Thank you so much. <laughs> At least I'm I, I I can be a little satisfied that I'm speaking to some other human and not speaking to myself. So let's talk about ANC today. As we have uh, received so many queries regarding our AMC, um, uh, I can say program and uh, people need to know how the AMC works, how much effort do they have to put in to is uh, the AMC and to pass the AMC and what they do and what they don't. So let's talk about this session. And uh, I wish this will be really helpful to all of you. Meanwhile, I'll ask you to write in a query box or a chat box regarding any query and we will discuss it later on. So moving to next slide. Uh, today we are talking about how the AMC works. <clears throat> What is AMC? What is the significance of AMC? What's the passing rate of AMC MCQs exam? How many parts does it contain? Why AMC and why not other exams right now? Can I work in Australia or the students can, they are having the query that can they work in Australia after passing AMC MCQs only? What is their fees, the AMC MCQs fees and the clinical fees? And where are the centers that are all over the world that are conducted the AMC exams other than Australia? And how much the preparation time, how they pass AMC in the first go? And what why they need to join a course? Why the course is that much important and the benefits of joining a course? Why the study partner is important and what are the benefits of having a study partner and how to choose an accurate exam, exam preparation course in such a so-called like a very competitive environment that we are in, how to identify that this course is benefited to us and the other course are not. So let's talk about these important questions. Um, so let I let you know that what AMC is. So AMC is basically Australian Medical Council exam. CAT means it's a computerized based exam or computer administered fully integrated core or exam. Um, it consists of, um, I can say a duration of this uh, exam is 3.5 hours. And the examination centers are uh, the, the centers that are conducted this exam is not only in Australia, but to other parts of the world as well. The exam, this exam consists of 150 MCQs. <clears throat> Excuse me for my sore throat. <laughs> I hope you bear me. So this exam consists of 150 MCQs. Uh, and um, uh, that means that and uh, uh, I'll let you know that all the 150 MCQs are carrying the different scores. Like if the uh, total score is, for example, 300, 
that doesn't mean that all the 150 MCQs are score-based ba MCQs. Some are pilot, some are score-based, some are highly score-based. So let's talk about further regarding this. This exam consists essential, like I know everyone who is being joined in this session are certified and licensed doctors of their uh, respective countries. So I must say that everyone is having the enough knowledge regarding MBBS and other parts of, uh, I can say if some, some are specialized, some are only MBBS. So everyone is being, I can say, they are specialized in their fields. Uh, so it's better to talk about the exam in a very, um, I can say, uh, in a very respective language. So the content of the exam consists of medicine, surgery, pediatrics, gynae, gynecology and obstetrics and ethics and statistics and psychiatry okay so these are the seven main uh, uh i can say uh, parts that are consisting of this exam but you have to have some pilot questions so the content covers essential medical knowledge include the disease processing so every doctor know that uh, whether we are talking about any specific disease, for example, if you are talking about MEBSs, so we have to talk about the causes, sign and symptoms, prevention, treatment, and diagnosis, and if required, the lab investigations. So the, the exam consisting of the disease process, clinical examination and diagnosis, investigations, therapy, and management, and you are expected to complete all 150 scored items in the examination because if you didn't if you couldn't able to cover or complete all the 150 scored mcqs your uh, laptop screen or the exam computer screen is vanished once the time is over and you couldn't able to submit your exam that means you are not able to qualify the exam so it's really mandatory that you have to cover all the 150 MCQs and solve all the 150 MCQs so as to complete this exam. The significance of AMC MCQ examination is basically as I am an IMG, International Medical Graduate, I belong to Pakistan and uh, I came here and did my licensing exam and working here as a, a licensed doctor. So the significance of going with AMC MCQs exam is we all are licensed doctor of overseas and we all are called as international medical graduates. But to work here in Australia, we have to have a license, either a limited registration license, a provisional registration license, and later on the general medical license. So for this reason, we have to have a uh, I can say we have to assess our knowledge through a pathway of AMC MCQs and AMC clinicals. So this is one of the significance of AMC MCQ examination. So as to get a license once secured a job. So that's how it is written that overseas trained doctor whose medical qualifications are not recognized in Australia undergo the AMC exam to assess their clinical skills and medical knowledge for registration purposes. The examination test knowledge, clinical competence, professional attitudes and performances of each and every doctor. How many parts and steps of MCQs, uh, sorry, AMC. This is one of the, I can say, more pro prominent question that we get. So basically, the Australian Medical Council exam consists of two parts, MCQs and the clinical exam. AMC MCQ is an online test and it's an online multiple choice test delivered in one 3.5 hour session and is accessible via examination centers, not only in Australia, but internationally. After passing the MCQs exam, doctors are eligible to go with the clinical examination, which test performance in a controlled environment. And <clears throat> the good news is now all the clinical examination are in an online version. So I did my clinical exam in an online version as well. Previously, you have to go to Melbourne and go with the NAT process. But now you, are, you can go with clinical examination even at any part of the world. 
The EMC clinical exam is an assessment of the clinical skills in medicine. As I have previously told, medicine, surgery, obstetric, gynae, pediatric, psychiatry, and sometimes ethics. It is now conducting an online version worldwide. There is no time limit between passing an MCQs exam and taking the AMC clinical exam. So you can go either, like, believe me, few of the doctors that are working with me, they have gone with the AMC MCQs 10 years before and after 10 years, they have to go with their clinical. And um, I'll let you know that, uh, yes, you can work in Australia after passing only the AMC MCQs exam. As I have told you about my colleagues, that they have gone their AMC MCQs exam 10 years before they started working on limited registration license. And now they are sitting for the clinical exam. So this is one of the benefit that you can work in Australia and in New Zealand, even with your AMC MCQs and English tests. So you can start applying with uh, for job with AMC 1, that is MCQs plus English tests only. And a job with just, it, this is possible that you can job here with just passing AMC MCQs exam. You are eligible, <coughs> excuse me, you are eligible for provisional registration and limited registration if you get a job after passing AMC MCQs only. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me for a minute. So you are eligible for limited registration after passing AMC MCQs only and after AMC MCQs and AMC clinical, you are eligible for the <clears throat> provisional registration. So this is one of the benefits. <clears throat> Can you excuse me for a minute? I'm going to grab some water and we'll be back in a minute. Sorry, guys. Sorry for my sore throat. <laughs> it's going worse as uh, winter is coming here in Australia. So it's getting, I can say it's getting worse. <clears throat> Let's check the chat box. Validity of AMC part one or is it acceptable to work in Australia after one or two years of passing part one? As I have told you that, yes, you can work um uh, in australia after passing amc part one so why amc exam and why not plap yes this is one of the very i can say question that we get this is one of the question that we usually get why uh amc and why not plap so i just let you know that uh okay just a minute i am audible yes so i just let you know that amc never expires like, as I have told you about my colleague, that they are working with AMC MCQs. So it's not, there is no expiry date of AMC MCQs, but PLAP usually expires in two years. That means you have to appear for PLAP 2 within two years. Otherwise, your PLAP 1 will expire. You can have unlimited attempts of AMC, whereas in PLAP, you can only have four attempts. So few of the doctors, they can't able to make with first time of AMC, they can go with another attempt. And there is no limited duration that you have to go within six months or within three weeks, et cetera. So it's all up to you and it's all up to your preparation that you can sit for another exam. The job opportunities are open after AMC MCQs, whereas in PLAB, you have to part both PLAB 1 and PLAB 2 in order to <clears throat> avail a job. The salary packages, yes. This is one of the charm that we all are doing hard work for. So the salary packages in Australia is really handsome regarding uh, uh, as compared to US and UK. 
So the salary packages are handsome. You can, uh, I can say, work in a better environment. You can save, you can invest, and you can invest on your further studies as well. So salary packages are very handsome in Australia, where in, uh, after PLAB, the salary packages are not that much, I can say, sufficient. PLEB 1 is a written exam, and as I have told you that AMC MCQs is a computer-based exam that you can assist this examination uh, at any part of the world, not only in Australia that you have to come to Australia and go with the exam and uh, process it, but you have to sit for this exam at any part of the world. Uh, AMC is online assessment, uh, as I have told you. AMC is MCQs, whereas a PLAB is a single answer questions, like a short question and a short answer type of exam. There is much more to differentiate in a way to say that AMC is much better than PLAB. So for me, uh, I have done my PLAB previously. Then I have decided that I have to go with AMC, M uh, AMC MCQs and clinical. And the only reason for me to go with AMC is least competition. Uh, in Australia, you can avail a job easily. I, I can say like for to get a first job or to get a first professional job is a bit difficult in every country. <clears throat> Even if you are in your own country, it, it could be a bit difficult. But uh, I, I can say everyone can get a job. So the competition is not that much vast as compared to uh, uh, US, UK, and Canada, but the salary packages are really handsome as compared to um, the PLAP and the USMLE one. <clears throat> I can keep my eye on the chat box as well so that I can answer your queries. So is provisional registration same as full license? Definitely, yes. It's same as full license. Uh, uh, like as we are having registration in our country, home country, that uh, initially we get a one-year license and then later on we get a license of five to 10 years. So this same happens in Australia <clears throat> that you get a license and there are some expiry date of that license. And after that, you have to renew your license. What type of visa can we get after AMC1 and what is the duration of that visa? So for this instance, I must say that you have to go on Australian immigration website and see uh, there, there are certain visas that you can avail 482, 496 and few other visas that are coming in a skilled occupational list. Uh, so with this visa, <clears throat> excuse me. So with this visa, you can uh, have... Uh, uh, okay, so with this visa, you can have more chances to get immigration here. So uh, I will post about the visa list uh, once we have finished with this um, lecture. And I will post it on the Facebook group. Uh, so keep on following. Do Doctor, I heard it's very difficult to get get job after AMC1. Is that true? So Uday, Dr. Uday, I must say no. There are so many doctors that I know personally, they are working on limited registration and they are not working for one year or two year. They are working for the past 10 years. So it's not difficult at all. You must have to have a smart approach. And for that smart approach, you have to have a smart guidance. Maha, Dr. Maha, when can one give AMC exam? So once you have finished your MBBS, um, I can say studies. And once you have finished your house job uh, in your home country, you are eligible to go with the AMC exam. So what happens after three years mark from limited registration is starting and you still haven't passed AMC too. Now you can go with the limited registration as maximum as possible. For this instance, you have to have good relation with your supervisor. So you can go with that as, as maximum as possible. There is no time, time limit of limited registration. And the last one is Dr. Nikesh. Experiences in which department in our country they recognize more and have more chances to get job after AMC1. This is one of the very perfect question, I must say. So you, uh, if I am like, as I'm in a system right now, I can say, 
uh, accident and emergency department number one, intensive care unit number two, ICU, gyne, gynecology and obstetrics, and pediatrics. These are the four main domains that you can work if you are, or if you right now you are in your home country. So you can work in these four domains, get your experience letter from them, pass the AMC, pass the English test and go with the job applications here. Definitely you will get a job within one to two months or maximum six months because recruitment process is one of the other thing I will let you know later. <clears throat> so let's move to our next slide. Uh, okay. So AMC, MCQ fees and the clinical exam fees. Believe me, doctors, uh, I can totally relate uh, because I was in the same shoe few years back and I can totally relate that uh, how we as a doctor are thinking that about the exam fees and everything. So yes, the exam fees is a bit, is a bit expensive, but once you get a job, you will pay off this fees within one to two months with your hard work and with your dedication. So the computerized based examination MCQs fees is 3124 Australian dollars. From January to 2024, they have changed the fees and now they are keep on increasing by year to year. And previously, when I did my examination, it was 2720. And the clinical examination fees is 4391. Um, and as I have told you, you will get pay off with this fees within one to two months once you get a job. So dedication matters a lot. Now talking about the AMC MCQ centers. So starting with Australia first, the centers are in Adelaide, Brisbane, Canberra, in Sydney, where I am residing, Perth, Melbourne, Hobart. And other than Australia, the centers are in New Zealand. Let's move to the next slide. So the centers are in New Zealand, uh, Auckland as in New Zealand, Bangalore, Bangkok, Beijing, China, uh, Frankfurt, Hong Kong, Hyderabad, India, Istanbul, Greece, North Island, and all other countries. And the good news is the center is going to open in Pakistan as well. As as I can say within next year they are going to open their centers in pakistan so this is one of the i can say good thing that there are centers all over the world not only in australia that you have to come to australia and perform <clears throat> sorry attempt your amc mcqs test but you can avail your test wherever you are residing or the country nearby to you and your neighbor country so preparation time, uh, the, uh, this question we usually ask so much that what is the preparation time for AMC MCQs examination? I personally believe that if you have done your uh, an MBBS examination and you, are, you have done with your house job and right now you are working in your home country, the preparation time is no more than six months. So six months of dedication preparation <clears throat> is enough. And with dedication preparation, you have to have the correct guidance. So it include the, the authentic course that you have to take, the tuitions, the study material provided by your course uh, management and the study partner. The very dedicated and authentic study partner is one of the charm of acing this exam. 12 weeks of guided self-study. So with this six months, you have to know about your course, how this AMC works, because I believe every exam, as I have done with two of the international examination, and I must say that all the examination are different in their patterns. So initially, you keep on knowing that how AMC works, what are the uh, criteria that it has to cover, what are the main domains that AMC has to focus and how to ace this exam and then start your study with the study materials provided and your dedicated study partner. And I must say, you don't have to have one partner. You have to have at least three partners. When I was doing my exam, I was having three partners at different time 
uh, zone so that if one partner is not available right now, the two others can get benefited from each other. So a study partner is very important and the authentic course is very important. Then 12 weeks of guided self-study. Every week you will revise specific lessons in your online portal being provided by the course manager and the course management, including videos, articles, links, PDFs, quizzes covering a certain topics. <clears throat> Do the mock examination and mock test that this is such a, I can say one of the key to pass the exam. To go with the mock exam first, so that you come to know that how many time, uh, how is your time management? How is your thinking skills? How is your question solving skills? Mock, attempting a mock exam is one of the key of passing the exam. In my time, I did three of the mock examination. And believe me, it helps me when I was in front of the computer. I did my exam in Sydney. And when I was in front of the computer and doing my real exam, I wasn't that much scared performing the exam because I was known to the system before. So do with your mock examination and pass the test by the end of each week to move on to the next area. So if you are uh, learning surgery by any of your mentor, the mentor will give you a test. So pass your test first. Keep yourself, uh, uh, I can say, uh, sharp in that particular subject like surgery and then move to next. So that when in the end you are going to revise your material, you must know every domain and you just have to revise your material, not start studying again. I hope you are getting me. And if any query, I must say right on the chat box. I can't see no, I can, I can see no faces. <laughs> uh, it's good that I can see some faces so we can get familiar with each other or up to your convenience. So uh, do the mock exam, pass the test by the end of each week to move on to next area. <clears throat> Excuse me. After 12 weeks of hard study, you should be able to successfully pass the exam. Revise everything, revise every single point that you have noted while you were studying and every single thing being provided by your mentor before sitting for your real exam. Revise everything. Believe me, I revise thrice. I revise my notes thrice. And this is one of the key I avail very good marks in MCQs because I revise everything thrice. Okay, moving to next. <clears throat> Why, what should I do to pass the AMC in first go? Okay, so I must say consistency. Consistency is the key. Not only for AMC MCQs, but consistency is a key for everything that you want to ace with. So must join some authentic course to start preparation and get and to get in correct direction. <clears throat> our uh, so for with med, I am talking about the med exam expert course. So our plans are being tailored to meet your unique needs that you improve fast. Um and like uh I can say it's, it's, there are a few other courses that are online courses. They are providing general materials that everyone is having. And with this instance, the uh, student time is being wasted. And they, the med exam expert is offering you <clears throat> exam oriented material, excuse me for a minute. So we will tell you exactly the essential topics and what parts you should focus on to not get lost into your exam preparation as every doctor who is being present here must know that um, medicine and surgery is such a vast, vast field. Once you get lost in any of the topic, you can't come back. Like it happens with me. Once I get lost in pediatrics, I can't able to come back. So with this instance, we keep you focused. 
exam oriented study is really really important exam oriented preparation is really really important in order to ace this exam because if you know too much there is no point if you know too less there is no point so exam oriented study is really important also you will practice quizzes and exam questions that will not only help you pass the exam but achieve you among the top 20s moving to next <clears throat> so take the online course from your place and from overseas this is one of the benefit of online courses that you get benefited if either if you are overseas our courses are entirely flexible you will be provided with the recordings later on in order to revise your session or if you have any query, the mentors are available. You can ask about your query and they will provide you the best of their answers. Great for getting rid of those butterflies before the real, real thing. As I have told you <clears throat> about with my experience and when, once I was in front of the exam screen, I didn't get any butterfly in my stomach because I get used to it. I get used to the system. Taking an AMC preparation course is the most cost-effective tool. As I have told you about the exam fees, it's one of the expensive exam because you will not pay to re-attempt the exam ever again. You can start an AMC CAT MCQs online course right now in order to go in the correct direction. Not go there, not go here and there, but go in a correct direction, which leads you to success. All you have to do is to select a package and start your journey of AMC. Don't risk sitting in the exam without getting being ready. This I want to tell you very loud and clear. Don't think that you know too much to ace this exam. Believe me, there are so many people who just booked their, start, uh, I can say, exam date and go with this exam I thought that they know I know I believe everyone know too much including me including you doctors but every exam is different every exam is having their own strategies so don't think that you know too much and you know it already and you can ace this exam this exam is nothing I can go with it believe me you end up wasting your money so I can say keep calm, keep consistent, keep on studying, keep on studying with your study partners and take an authentic course. Moving to next, why should I need to join a course? This is one of the questions that we get usually. Why joining course is important and benefits of joining a course. So there are three questions and we have one answer of it. So joining a course of AMC MCQs is equally important for better guidance, as I have told you, all of the mentors we are having are have gone through this exam previously. So we know that what a student can go with, what a doctor can do in order to avail a better performance, what a doctor can do in order to get a passing result. So because we already went through this process. So better guidance of professional tutors who have already have been <clears throat> tutoring in different institutes previously and go through, as I have told you, I have gone through this process. So I know, I, I know, like I was previously in your shoes. I can, I can feel the pain. I can feel all the emotions you guys are having. I can feel all the questions you are having right now because previously I was having those questions. So this is one of the thing that joining a course is really important and joining a course to those who previously have gone through this process and now they are working here in Australia because they can guide you much, much better. With the correct guidance of tutor, you will be on the forward path and have better preparation for AMC. The organization provide you the study material, as I have told you, <clears throat> and tell you the high yield topics. Believe me. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to say that, but for like I with the with my kind hearted, I must say 
reading the whole John Murtagh is one of the stupid thing the doctors are doing. Believe me, only the high yield topics are important from John Murtagh. I was learning with few of my study mates. They are so bookworm. They are so sharp. They have gone with the John Murtagh, the whole John Murtagh thrice or twice. But they can't able to ace this exam in first attempt. So a smart study is very, very important. High yield topics are really important rather than go with, as I have told you, medicine and surgery is such was that once you get lost in this ocean, you keep on getting lost. So keep you in a pace, keep you in a path of correct study, you have to have an authentic course. So with the current guidance, you, you will ace this exam. The organization provide you with the study material and tell you high yield topic, giving you tips to take your preparation better and in exam oriented manner so that no time is wasted because time is money. Believe me, time is money. AMC consumes, AMC is taking your money, but your time is your money. We are also organizing mock exams almost in the pattern of actual exams so that you are prepared for the exam in a correct direction. That's really important. That's that's really, really important. To get you directed in a correct, correct path by taking the mock test. Mock test, uh, you can mark my words. Mock test is one of the key of acing this exam. Authentic course is one of the key of acing this exam, study material and authentic study material, high yield topics is one of the key mock tests and a good study partner, a dedicated, a consistent study partner is one of the key of passing this exam. Moving to next, then we'll come to the chat box. So the med exam expert plans are tailored to meet your unique needs and improve you faster. Uh, also, you can practice quizzes. Um, you are being divided into subgroups that you can exchange your ideas and also plan your study in a better way according to your circumstances. <coughs> because few people are working, few people are not working. They are being dedicated only towards examination. So every doctor is having their own circumstances, but we have to tailor you. We have to divide you in a subgroup according to your needs, according to your circumstances, so that you can prepare better. You will also get companions on the same route of AMC that we called as study partners. Now coming to the chat, chat box, I think I have missed few chats. Okay, so few people are asking, okay, we have finished here, Dr. Nikesh. So experience, we have talked about it. Minimum, how many months or years? I have told you, OET is eligible here. Yes. Dr. Javeria, OET is eligible here in Australia. It's AMC1 is enough for a specialization. Can we get into a specialist pathway after one year of experience? Um, so yes, you can go in the specialist pathway, but you have to go with AMC for that. Like AMC MCQs for that. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry for my sore throat. The winter changes affect me very bad. So the thing is, um, uh, if you are going with the specialist pathway, you have to go with AMC MCQs or it's better to go with AMC MCQs. What is the minimum IELTS marks required? So the minimum IELTS, or I can say for AFRA registration, you have to have seven score each. Uh, for IELTS, you have to have uh, 6.5 score each for PTE. And you for OET, you have to have uh, B grade, B plus. Is there any minimum years of clinical experience required to get a job? No, no. There is no minimum years of clinical experience. Believe me, the people with the specialization and 10 years of experience are doing here the resident medical officer job. And also the people who are 
just finished their house job, did their AMC MCQs and did their English tests and they are doing the same resident medical officer job. So experience doesn't count that much, but recent experience counts a lot, a lot. You have to have recent clinical experience and you don't have to have any gap. Okay, so someone is saying contact us for AMC guidance and support. Thank you, Dr. Shaleen. Uh, now, uh, I know somebody who did not get a job after multiple applications for jobs since one year after passing AMC. What's your perspective about this, ma'am? So, yes, I, I can say there are a few people who can't able to secure a job because they are not applying smartly. So apply in a very smart pattern makes you eligible to go with a job, to get a job. And once you go with this AMC, MCQs and the things, we will definitely guide you how to ace the job. Um, I will, I, I'll try to uh, make a, a presentation on that as well. And then we will talk about it, that what are the smart approaches to get a job here in Australia. So we will talk about it later. So if we do our house job and clear our OET from our country, can we apply? If we prepare while doing house job and apply after it. Okay, so I'll tell you, uh, you have to start, uh, sorry, you have to finish your MBBS. You have done with your house job. You have done with your AMC one. You have done with your English test and then start applying for job. Believe me, English test is not a necessity to apply for a job but it's one of the criteria for AFRA registration, the license registration that you have to have English tests. So people are getting the job even after AMC MCQs. <clears throat> I hope I am clear. Do you have any idea for nurses? Um, I uh, like, what do you want to know? Just uh, clear me with few words so that I can tell you. Are there any books, especially for AMC? Yes, John Murtag is one of the book that is for AMC. Uh, AMC Blue Book or Handbook is one of the book, but it's not being updated since last, I think, 15 years. And an authentic course is one of the guidance or, or you can have a guidance. Validity of med exam AMC package. For this, you have to call, contact Asma. And she will guide you in a better way. And she tell you that contact our dedicated course counselor. Eligibility of giving this AMC part one. So the eligibility criteria is you have finished your MBBS at least. And for coming to Australia, you have to have your MBBS plus house job. To be eligible, you must have completed all the, okay, Asma have answered. I, how to know what to study and what not to. I think what's are important is not to know what, what to study, rather knowing what not to. So Dr. Nikesh, I have told you that uh, don't study everything, only the high yield topics. You have to have some authentic guidance for it. For this instance, we have organized our course that how to go with the study and what to do and what you not have to do, like what are the do's and what are the don'ts. What's the specialization pathway in Australia once we get a job there? <laughs> so uh, I must say that yes, there are specialization pathway here in Australia. <coughs> once you get your general registration, you can go with the specialization pathway. Few of my colleagues are uh, doing the emergency medicine. Few are doing the general uh, practitioners, FRA, CGP exam. So you have to choose that which field you have to go. And you have to, uh, I can say, go with the examination of that particular field. Contact, okay. Does multiple attempts in taking exam affect the job application? Not at all, not at all. You can go with multiple attempts and believe me, this will flourish you in the end. If there is a gap in service, can I get a job? I must say that your recent experience must be better in order to get a job. Uh, you must have your recency of practice of at least 12 weeks, yes. How long it takes to get avail a job after AMC 1? It depends how much you are dedicated to get a job. 
if you are dedicated enough you are applying for a job in a very better and a dedicated manner you have a proper guidance of applying for a job job believe me you can get a job within six months three to six months can you repeat what's the requirement for IELTS so for IELTS you have to have seven each academic IELTS academic you have to have seven each nurses registrations and requirements so I'll talk about it in a bit regarding nurses registration and requirements house job in any specialized field no not at all I did my special oh sorry I did my house job in very rare departments from uh, Jinnah Postgraduate Medical Center. I At that time, I, I heard that you have to have house job in medicine, surgery, pediatrics, gynae ops. But I did my house job in medicine, surgery, uh, federal government officer ward, and plastic surgery. And uh, I, I am able to ace the job. So I, I'm not saying that house job in any specialized field is required. Like, like six months surgery and six months medicine definitely yes this this uh, with this you have you can get your registration from your home country but with any specialized department is not that much important what are the chances of passing part two yes so now uh with the last 2022 20, um uh, ratio the a the passing rate of AMC clinical is uh, fifty eight percent. So I can say, Doctor Jeremy, uh, you have to have some authentic course for part two as well. Do our internship count as one year experience? Yes, yes. Your internship or your house job count as one year experience? Definitely yes. What are the chances for IMG to specialize in orthopedics? So, Doctor Allen. Uh, it depends that uh, if you are on a specialist pathway uh, to specialize in orthopedics is one of the charm. But if you are not on a specialized pathway, then you have to go with a, uh, with a standard pathway that you have to pass AMC, MCQ, CMC clinical, English test. You have to avail a job. You get your AFRA registration. You have to have your general registration from AFRA. And then you are being eligible to get a specialization in orthopedics. PTE score is 6.5 each. Is MRCGP South Asia Family Medicine is equivalent to AMC1? Um, who has this iPhone? <laughs> First of all, please change your name and give yourself an authentic name so that I can call you in a better way. So, Dr. iPhone, <laughs> uh, with MRCGP, nothing is equivalent to AMC1 until unless you have general medical registration. Um, uh, I, I don't think so. MRCGP is equivalent to AMC1. If you are going with jobs in Australia, you have to have your AMC1. Is a valid IELTS required? Yes. Or why IELTS required? I have a valid IELTS till January 2025. So, it's a good news, Dr. Samson. You have IELTS valid till January 2025. So you should go with this exam as soon as possible. Is GM a stat we have to give for a GET match in residency in Australia? I will let you know about it, Dr. Asif. I'm same from Jinnah and want to have a specialization in cardiology. So Dr. Javiria, you can go with it. Yes, you have a chance to go with it. So uh, once you get your general registration here, you can go with the specialization in cardiology. Can we do recency after passing AMC1? Definitely, yes, Dr. Syed Ali Kambar. I did my recency after passing AMC1. So yes, a big, big yes. Uh, I'm sorry to ask the same question again. I have 10-year experience and four-year gaps now. Again, I'm planning for another six months attachment. If it is possible to get a job, if you have done your six months recent attachment, I can say yes, you are 200% eligible to get a job. Did clinical AMC needed to do for specialization? It depends, Dr. Javeria. If you have uh, your WBA pathway, so it's a big debate that if you are having your WBA pathway, um, you do not need to have clinical. Uh, it depends which hospital you are going to start working with. But uh, for specialization, you have to have general registration. So there are certain pathways that you can go with general registration. I'll talk about it later. Uh, 
<laughs> please tell me if I have not started at point zero right now. Let me know from what book I should start and which theory book I need to start from start <laughs> from a start and when to take course. So for the course, you have to contact Asma. I can tell you that uh, you should avail a course. You should start with the guidance first. You should know what AMC uh, demanding you and how to go with a start smart study. And we are here to guide you for that while doing the job. Thank you. Okay. Do you need to sit for the clinical for you to work in the field of public health? I can say no, uh, but it depends. If you are a doctor, um, Dr. Jeremy, are you a doctor? Uh, so that I will answer you in a better way. <laughs> what residency can we get into contact? Okay, after AMC 1, chances of job with AMC 1 and AMC 1 plus 2. I have told previously Dr. Sayed Ali, uh, regarding the chances of job with AMC 1 only and AMC 1 and AMC 2, we have talked about it. General registration is given after clearing English tests and MCQs of AMC. <clears throat> no, Javeria. Uh, no, general registration is after you have been working in a respective hospital for two to three years, you will get your general medical registration. What's the price for online course? Is It's a live or video. So for that, you have to contact Asma. Uh, do New Zealand citizens need visa before working in Australia? So for New Zealand residents, they don't need any visa to come here. For Australian residents, they don't need any visa to go there so they can work. Like when I was applying for my job, I got an interview call from New Zealand as well. And uh, after digging more into it, um, I asked them, do I have to have some visa for that? And they said no. So I don't believe that you have you need some visa. You can go uh, and start working. So uh, let's finish our slides and then coming to the chat box again. Uh, so moving to next slide. Okay. So why study partner is important for AMC MCQs? And I must say not only for AMC MCQs, you have to have a study partner for clinical as well. And for like why I have told you that for the consistency, I can say in a very, I can say in a very funny way, <clears throat> excuse me. I can say in a very funny way, a study partner is one who is going to kick you when you are not studying. So a study partner is really important. Uh, for everyone, like, as I told you, sometimes I was feeling bad. Sometimes I was feeling low. I was not into myself 100%. So my study partner was literally kicking my back. So my, yeah, get up, get up. The exam is near, get up and start studying. Get up, get up, believe me. When I was studying, I start my study at 3 a.m., because one of my study partner is from India and she wakes me up. Uh, she woke me up at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. in Sydney was like 11 p.m. in India, might be. So she keep, keep on waking me up. That's so my yes, stop, stop sleeping, start studying. So a study partner is really important to kick on your back when you are not 100% and you are not 100% into yourself. This is one of the joke, but believe me, a study partner is really important. So having a buddy will motivate you and keep all parts of a studies accountable. You are both more likely to achieve success in your studies. Two heads are better than one. After all, there are plenty of benefits to pairing up with a study buddy while you are doing a course, definitely. Study buddies are not just helpful for university students. You will find advantage to pairing up with someone at home while doing an online course or in any other educational situation. Find out more about having a study buddy can help you with your studies by contacting us later. <clears throat> so we will definitely help you in it as well. Course structure is AMC MCQ scores by MedExam Expert is an interactive online course while you practice AMC MCQs live with a tutor in order to refine your approach. Our tutors are skilled. Uh, there are a few other tutors that uh, Asma will let you know about them. 
at teaching and they will provide you with techniques for approaching and MCQs more efficiently because they are all very efficient and very expert in AMC and they have gone through this process themselves. The course includes 48 contact hours with MCQ tutors plus access to hundreds of videos, webinars, practice MCQs, quizzes, and three online mock exams. If you enjoy our free MCQs preparation webinar, then you will enjoy the structure of our course. And for this, you have to contact Asma. This course will cover the topics from AMC for all the domains and the domains that are being required. Believe me, it's really important. Required domains, to study the required domains are really important rather than to study everything. So adult health, medicine and surgical content, emergency medicine, a specialty health that includes psychiatry, pediatrics, obstetrics, gynecology, population health, community health, medical, legal, and ethics, and statistics. <clears throat> so the all domains are really, really important. So interactive tutors, LED classes are run in an online classroom format via Zoom, as we are doing right now. You can interact fully with your classmates and tutors, up-to-date MCQs presentations, Tutors teach from up-to-date MCQs presentations, which are available to review again after each class. Hundreds of practice MCQs and MCQs activities are there. Learn effective exam techniques to MCQs practice and author authoring, authorizing tasks. Prepare all topics from exclusive notes and flashcards to quick revision. Flashcards are really important. I did my flashcards myself because there was no one to guide me about that. But the, you guys are really lucky that med exam expert is going to guide you about the flashcards. Uh, the application of med exam expert MCQ scores participants 24 hours a day from wherever you have internet access. The online resources are exclusive to med exam expert. Uh, suggested course material. So as some people are asking me previously, so AMC Handbook of Multiple Choice Questions is recommended, although not essential because it's not being updated for the last 20 years. Yes, AMC is so, so slow that they haven't been updated their own preparation. I can say book. <laughs> That's so silly. Um, and John Murtak. Course requirement is a reliable internet access, access to a computer, tablet, a smartphone, or a quiet space. Camera and microphone are essential, as I have asked you previously to on your camera, as this is an interactive online classroom environment. And for more information, you have to contact the med exam expert team. So any question can be asked, and I'm happy to answer, as I answer few of them previously. And uh, I can answer more. <laughs> so let's get into the chat box again. So Dr. Hans Saja. Okay. So Dr. Hans Saja, as I told previously, AMC is being eligible. Uh, I can say it's uh, being you, the guys having, or I can say in a very clear way. So I'm a resident of Australia. I'm a citizen of Australia. So I can have my job opportunities in New Zealand as well. So AMC is being accepted in Australia, not only in Australia, but in New Zealand as well. So yes, it's possible to move to New Zealand without giving an exam because AMC is being eligible there. Uh, please, what are the requirements to be able to practice in Australia, either as a GP or join the specialist pathway? And the second question is, if EPIC or ECMG has verified my documents, do I need to resubmit documents for AMC? No. So Dr. Ebenezer, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> and uh, the requirements to practice in Australia <clears throat> is AMC, MCQs, and English tests. Once you avail a job, there is no point to go with the clinical. If the hospital is giving you a WBA program, then you go with that WBA work-based assessment program and you can have your general registration later on. And uh, once you get your general registration, you are being open to so many specialist pathway, uh, depending upon your choices. Like for me, if uh, some if anyone can ask me that which specialist pathway I can go with. So believe me, once I get my, I'll get my general registration, I'll go with surgery. 
So definitely you can, it's up to you which is specialist pathway you can go with. And uh, if you have done with your APIC verification and ECFMG verification, you do not need to resubmit your documents for AMC. You just have to go with your ECMG and APIC uh, verification. Dr. Mahir, Madam, how long valid AMC? AMC is valid. AMC one is valid for lifelong. There is no validity duration for AMC. Um, ma'am, with AMC, can I work in Dubai like New Zealand? Mm, I don't think so. Um, to work in Dubai, you can have the license of your own country. You have to have a valid license of your own country and start hunting for job. If you are having AMC one, I don't think so. There is much, it, it will benefit you in more way. But yes, if you are having AMC one, and registration of Australia, then definitely you will get a good salary package in Dubai. Ma'am, I'm already did a pediatrician in India. That's good to know. So can we get residency in Australia? And it really, in and it reality that we get further course only in rural area of Australia or not in city area. Uh oh. So <laughs> this is one of the misconcept that uh, people can get job only in the rural area. No. You can get your job in the, I can say, in a uh, city area. I'm in Sydney CBD. So I am working here in Sydney CBD. So yes, you can get your job in city area. The, this is not a necessity. It's all up to your luck and how smartly you are approaching any job application. What about rotation ship in Australia? Can we get free or paid observation ship? <laughs> will this help to get my first job after amc1 please also let me know about do recommendation of doctors and nurses count to get me a job should i focus more in regional area at first for job so regional area are short of doctors there are more uh, there are more vacancies coming in regional area but you can work in uh i can say sydney city city or in melbourne city as well Rotation ship in Australia is it all as is as it previously like in medicine, surgery, gynae, ops, pediatrics, or you have one year of rotation in emergency medicine. You can get you do not get paid observation ship in Australia, but you can get a free observation ship. So there is no point uh, to come all over the way here in Australia and go with only observation ship. Observation ship is good or observership is go good to get a good reference. Uh, it will help you in uh, availing a job. I did my observation ship uh, uh, for one year, I think. And that is free, unpaid. But uh, believe me, when they asked me for references, they didn't ask me for that doctor. So sometimes it will help and sometimes it wouldn't help. I have been working as GP for almost two years. Good to know, Dr. Allen. Do I need any hospital attachment before I start applying job in Australian hospital? Yes, you have to the work experience of your respective GP or centers. Like from where you are working as a GP, you have to have your experience letter because previously I was working as a GP or as a, in a telehealth medicine. <clears throat> so my experience letter counts a lot. Can we apply for PR after provisional license? You can apply for PR. Yes, because uh, doctors are coming in a skilled occupation list. So definitely, yes. Ma'am, you have an answer regarding role of gym set for residency. Okay, so I will. I am not having uh, enough information, to be honest, regarding gym set. Uh, but if you are asking me about residency here in Australia, like permanent residency, then it will work for you, but you can start applying for a job as I believe you are working right now. So you can apply, start applying for jobs here in Australia, but uh, it all depends on luck that without AMC, MCQs, they uh, are going to give you a job. So you have to go with AMC, MCQs first. Apply for a job from Pakistan or Australia, does it matter? Uh, I'm from Pakistan. Excuse me for a minute. I'm from Pakistan. When I was doing my residency, I was applying for a job. I was doing my residency in Pakistan. 
in Jinnah post grad grad medical <clears throat> sorry for slip of tongue Jinnah post graduate medical center. I was applying for a job here and um, yes, it works. Some, few of my colleagues getting their job while they were working there in Pakistan and even they get their visa as well. So it will work. It will work. I, I can say I believe and consistency is one of the key. Any language barrier other than English? No, no, Dr. Javeria. There is no language barrier other than English. Um, you can have a good friendly environment while working here. Minimum pay scale in Australia. So Dr. Javeria, it depends which, uh, I can say which role, for which role you are being appointed. So for ge general, med oh sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. For junior medical officer role or a hospital medical officer role, uh, or a resident medical officer, there is a pay scale of 89,000 to 1,20,000 per annum without tax. Uh, and uh, for unaccredited training, you have to have above than 1 lakh without tax. So minimum pay scale, I can say about the doctors only. So for the doctors, minimum pay scale here in Australia right now in 2024 is $85,000 to $1,20 per annum without tax. This is how it works in Australia. Uh, doctors, can you give a small explanation about sitting the interview while getting a job? Uh, sit, for sit, If you have uh, got a job, I can say if you have got an uh, interview call and you need to go with the interview, uh, the interview is not that much lengthy. It's for 15 minutes only. And they are asking you why you are choosing this position, why you are choosing this hospital, what are your thoughts about this hospital. They will give you a clinical scenario and ask you about any diagnosis, treatment, and uh, prevention, <clears throat> and one radiograph. And they are asking you about how to explain that radiograph. Like for me, they have given me an X-ray of pleural embolism. Yes, pulmonary embolism, sorry. And they asked me to explain the x-ray. And uh, for the clinical scenario, they asked me for a viscous perforation. And they asked me that uh, you are a junior doctor here and how can you manage this situation while your senior doctor is on his way? So you just have to answer accordingly, Dr. Hansaja. Can we have a specialist ongoing study in the regional hospital or just in city area? No. Regional hospital are very good with specialization studies. So you can avail this. How long will it take to start my residency after I get my first job? Do IMG get medicine residency easily? Yes, Dr. Nikesh. IMG can get medicine, surgery, emergency medicine, ICU, gynae, ops, pediatrics. They can avail all the required, um, I can say, residency. And how long will it take to start my residency? So it will take almost with the recruitment process, it will take two to three months. What about CV? How to organize a CV? So it's Dr. Nikesh, this is one of the, I will organize another session for that. How to organize a CV, how to make a CV better and more attractive. Do New Zealand resident citizen have to apply for PR first and go straight to apply for Australian citizenship? Believe me, Dr. Casalini, I think I'm not clear previously. New Zealand res residents do not require anything to work here in Australia. One of my beloved friend, he was from New Zealand and now he just moved here in Melbourne and he started doing his job. No visa, no citizenship, nothing required to move to Australia. Just the ticket and uh, uh, all the, I can say, good things here. Can you address my question again? Internet disconnected. Which question, Dr. Ali? Can you repeat it again? Can you also tutor the clinical text? Uh, yes, I think this, this webinar is for MCQs. What person are the taxes? So it's on the website. You can go with it. Like below $18,000, there are no taxes. And above $18,000, there are taxes. So it's according to your salary. Ma'am, how difficult is to get into surgical specialty and how long will it take to enter the residency after clearing AMC exam? Thank you. 
So speciality you can get here. I, I told you previously, <clears throat> Uh, you have the chance to get the speciality after general medical registration. So there is no difficulty in any speciality. If I pay one lakh dollar, how much can I get after taxes? If you are being paid one uh, or you are being appointed for one lakh dollar, uh, monthly you can get 6,000 to 6,500 dollars. No, no, no. For one lakh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For one lakh, you have to have 7,000 dollars per month after taxes. Uh, yes, Google it. <laughs> Do they prefer Australian residency over uh, IMGs? Sorry for asking again. No. So they are not preferring or Australian residents over IMGs. Believe me, no. No, no, no. I am an IMG. I am an IMG. I went through all the process as you were. I was in the same shoe. I was being interviewed with six of the doctors that in which two are Australian residents. No, my answer is a big no. They do not prefer. It all depends upon your performance at that time. Thank you, ma'am, for brief overview and when explanation. Thank you, Dr. Asif. When you get your full license, do your current employer automatically review your salary? Yes, yes. Top five books you recommend? <laughs> there is no top five books, Dr. Nikesh. There are only two books, I can say, and a proper guidance and perfect notes. So as I told you, AMC CQ's handbook, but it's not necessary as it's not being updated. And John Murtag. What a rough estimate for GMO salary package of 88K per year. How much may you get after all reductions? So... 6,000, uh, around about 6,000. Is any more questions I can help with? <laughs> I enjoy your questions, believe me. I was asking the same questions when I was doing AMC and CQs in clinical. Is any more questions I can help with? 6K per month, 6K per month. Thank you so much, Dr. Ebenezer. Uh, Please, what's the cost for the course and how can I start? So for this, you have to contact Asma. Uh, the cost of living, if you are, it all depends. The cost of living, where you are living with the living. So I'm living in Sydney CBD. So CBD is always costly, but it's not that much costly that you can't go with your salary and with your partner's salary. So <clears throat> it all depends. It all depends your lifestyle of living. Um, thank you. How about life, living cost, accommodation, food? Believe me, food is not that much expensive, but accommodation is expensive, but it all depends how your living is. What are your barriers of living? Uh, no, no, that, that's okay, Dr. Allen. I can totally relate that. Uh, there is no need to sorry. Um, uh, all depends how you are living with, if you are living in a very fancy way then definitely you can't afford it. But if you are living in a general way, that like you are living in your own home country, so you can afford it. How to begin the AMC process? I know about registration. Can you please tell me how to begin, like where to register an EPIC verification? I don't know. So you have to make your portal on AMC website and then do your verification with your um, mark sheet and with your degree and uh, submit the fees. And then after a few days, you will get your verification in your email address. Do campaign of job starts in May? Yes, Dr. Nikesh, definitely. And before that campaign, you have to, uh, I can say, polish yourself. There are few courses. There are few things that you have to do before the campaign. Doctor, thank you so much. Dr. Dr. Hans Saja, thank you so much to you too. How much one can save out of seven k dollars? So, like, I am living with a family. I'm having kiddos. I'm uh, living with a family. I can save easily two k, two to three k. Uh, I've attended so many, but this seminar give me all my question answer. That's okay, Doctor Ode. Thank you to you too. Any more questions? <clears throat> Sorry for very bad sore throat. <laughs> I I am thankful to all of you that you bear my bad voice. 
I believe that next time I have some good and some sweet, polite voice. <laughs> Dr. Sayyad Ali, thanks to you too. What about extra hours? Definitely extra hour, you are paying very handsome. Like in a normal hour, if they are paying you $38 per hour, over time, they will pay you $105 to $120 per hour. What are the chances of getting a job while applying during early in the year rather than waiting for GMO campaign? Uh, so I can say, Dr. Kasalani, uh, the chances of getting a job off campaign is a bit slow. But while the campaign is open, open they are hiring more rapidly. Thank you, Dr. Allen. Thank you so much. Uh, there is no limit for extra hours. It all depends upon your availability. Like if I'm saying my uh, supervisor that I'm available for the whole week, they will appoint me for the whole week and I'm making extra dollars. <laughs> but it all depends your family commitments and everything. Uh, uh, like not to exceed particular hours per week. No, there is no limit. If I am taking exam in November, then when I should take online course? So you have, like, right now it's March, right? So you have to start, you should have to start your course because I believe that six months of study is really, really important. So at least you should be dedicated for six months. So dedicated means you are only working and only studying, nothing you have to do at all. Only working is studying and looking for your family. That is it. Uh, what about insurance coverage for IMG? What do you mean by insurance coverage? Are you talking about the Medicare, the health insurance? Limited registration per annum, do you include overtime hours? No, I, do, I didn't count overtime hours in this range. It's just the basic salary. It's just the basic salary. <laughs> I think that's all for today. You can write about your questions and queries um, for later, and we will definitely answer your query. I believe there are so many questions regarding the job and the salary packages. Um, I, I wish that we will arrange some other session for that, and we will talk about uh, for it in a very detailed version because this is one uh, of the um, I can say this is one of the field that need guidance soon after passing can we apply for jobs right yes is it mandatory to pass AMC2 to get our registration no you can work on limited registration thank you Dr. Sumia Cont okay thank you so much how many annual leave days in a year maternity leaves duration so annual leaves are for 30 days Maternity leaves, you can count in for 30 days. And if you are exceeding your maternity leave, your job is secured, but you are not paid. How can we be in touch with you if needed? You can contact Dr. Asma for it, Dr. Nikesh. Thank you, Kalyani. <clears throat> thank you, Dr. KK. Thank you, everyone. I am going to finish my session here. For more information, you have to contact Dr. Uh, Asma. And you can message us on Facebook and we are always here to help you. Believe me, with each other, like I can say, help each other this way, this way, this way. Help each other this way. Because previously I was new to this system. I didn't know much more about the things. I did so many things myself. But you guys are so much blessed that you are having authentic organization that are uh, organizing the sessions for you. So just help each other, connect each other, and you all will get succeeded. So be it. <laughs> Thank you, Asma. Are you here? <clears throat> I'm going to end the session. So Asma, I'm going to end the session. Is it all right? Yes, Dr. Sumaya, thank you so much for today's session. I guess we can end it now. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. We'll keep connected. For more queries, you can contact MedExam Expert. Thank you. Thank you to join the session. Have a good day. Have a good night here in Sydney. There is uh, 11 past 20. 
So have a good night, all of you, or <laughs> I don't know about the time zone. <laughs> have a good day ahead. Bye.